Do you see who's sitting right there, you guys? Do you see right there? That's Tori Bellici. He makes things explode. I can hear you. Hey everybody, I'm Trace. And I'm Tori. Tori, I don't know if you know, but the Nobel Prizes are upon us. Are, are, are you nerdy? Are you nerd? I'm pretty geeky when it comes to what we're about to talk about. Because dynamite was invented by Alfred Nobel. Right. Who, 18, nine, 1860s. I, who has like the Nobel Peace Prize. But at the time, he was making it for mining and making train tunnels. I mean, who was not using it to blow up his enemy. So I hear you like to blow stuff up. I do. Is that, that's right? It's like one of my favorite things. I mean, I've been on Mythbusters for nine years now, and that's one of the things that never gets old. Is blowing stuff up. I love it. You love it so much that you started uh, your new thing, Blow It Up. I know, how cool is that's that? That's so neat. I watched you blow up a car just the other day. Oh my God, we cool. had so much fun. And we used Ampo, okay. ammonium nitrate fuel oil. And it is a very industrial bulk explosive. It's it's same same thing as you know TNT and dynamite. It's used for uh, mining. Okay. But on this particular day, we used it to make uh, David Prager's car disappear. And you have the wheel of explosives. Yeah, that was you know that was kind of <laughs> like the whole. How do we make a web show? You know, how do we build the tension? I know. Ooh, what if there's a wheel that you spin? It's like, ooh, what's it gonna be? Is it gonna be C4? What is C4? I looked it up, and it says it's called Composition C, and it's mainly RDX, which is a military explosive from World War II, yeah. and it's more powerful than TNT. Yeah. It's, but is it essentially it's, the same? It's, it's a plastic explosive that basically has a very high velocity. So when it sets off, uh, it rips through, say, steel or whatever, whatever you're trying to blow up, it will it rip will blow through. it up. As opposed to Ampho, Ampho is more of a heaving explosive. It's a lower velocity explosive, so it pushes as opposed to cutting. Whoa, Yeah, I didn't even did think you, about that. Did you know in the Army that uh, C4, they used to use it uh, to warm their rations, their, their food? Because you can burn C4 and it won't explode. It just, it gives you a constant heat. It's like heat. little warmth. Yeah. That's kind of yeah. nice. A little factoid. Kind of brings you, brings you home right there. Yeah. What about these these other ones that are on the wheel of explosives? Oh. Debt cord. Debt cord's one of my favorites. That one you've used it, on it Mythbusters like, a number it looks of like, times uh, too, right? It looks, yeah, all the time. It looks like yellow rope. The ones that I was mainly confused about because I'd never heard of them were hexalite and pentalite. Yeah. Are they similar? Because they have similar names. They do. Well, you know what's interesting? Because hexalite, it comes in, um, like little chunks. And so you have to, you know, the bomb techs are, you know, we're like, oh, let's use Hexalite. And they're like, it's tricky because what happens is, unless you have it completely contained, if you set it off, it usually throws a lot of the explosive. So now you have like un, you know, blown up Hexalite flying through the air. And no one likes that. That sounds kind of like a Hollywood explosion, but that's not, because it's just everywhere. Oh, see, but they're different, right? The Hollywood explosions are so different. I mean, it's like gas bombs. It's for visual. It's like, it's not even high explosives. It's just, it's a charge with gas. And so you get this huge mushroom cloud of fire. Okay. But there's, that's no, there's not, not really the a shock wave. There's not, it's not doing damage. Where with high explosives, I mean, you don't want to be anywhere near it because the shock wave alone could actually kill you. Huh. Yeah. That's crazy. It Do you is. have a favorite explosive? Sheet explosive is probably one of my favorites. Sheet explosive? It's kind of like C4. It, it, it comes on a roll. It's it's like a quarter inch thick. It's about 10 inches wide. And it, you just you roll it out and you can just slap it onto anything. And, and it'll make it go away. Why do people like blowing stuff up so much? Do you know? Like, what's so therapeutic about blowing stuff up? I mean, I think maybe it has something to do with the fact that we could create something so powerful that we can just demolish anything we want. Is that power without yeah. actually having the physical? Because, you know, it's like you can't physically take a building down, but it, you can build something that will physically take the building down. I hope your show blows up. Too. Oh my gosh, <laughs> me too. We are having so much fun. So tell us in the comments below what you would blow up and where can they find Blow It Up? You can find Blow It Up on TestTube. And the thing is, if you leave a comment below the video with the item you want blown up and a good story behind it, we might pick your item and actually have you on the show and blow it up. Or you can tweet at Tori Belechi with the hashtag Blow, blow it, it Up. Thanks for watching.